help him change. He's getting old. What you know? You like see him naked, now. don't you? <laughs> <clears throat> right. So you understand. How can he hear us? Through the floorboard. He's drilled it's strategic holes in the floor. Floors. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. he has. Look, there's one That's there. strategic yeah. There we go, there's another one. <laughs> what the? What's what the a hell drill? Is that? Oh, there's another one, yeah. Wait, it's, that was a drill. The drills drill. would exist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I said rad earlier and it pissed me off. Yeah, so, I wasn't going to call you out on it. I just it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying pissed me the fuck off. All of the time, so maybe I'm just rubbing off on you. It's sailor <laughs> cool time now. Dude. It's a good change. Yeah, it's totally it's radical. It's a good change. You change for the better. Gosh, belt <laughs> yeah, best totally belt yeah. Yeah. Rad. Yeah. What, I said, like, that's so fucking rad or some shit, and I was yeah. like, Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> I now thought I'm about calling you out on it, but so it seemed like a nice mid, scene, mid so I didn't want to ruin You should uh, have. If you cared about me, you, you would have. Words. Yeah, I am <laughs> gaslighting you. Right. Gaslighting isn't real. I've told you this a million times. It's all in your head. Just give me one moment. I gotta get, I gotta get something out of your ass. It's not what you say. It's just how you say it. It's just... Don't move. God, I love this. Oh, it's so hard with my skin. controllers. Ooh. Finally. Nice. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've been trying to pop that zit all day. Gross. Oh, fuck, she had to go and see that shit. God damn it. <laughs> what a great impression, Sarah Cracking cold ones in her in his ass. What a great job. She's gonna fucking hate me. She's gonna think I'm a delinquent trying to ruin you. Probably. I am. She doesn't really <laughs> I, think, I think that's the least of what she'll <laughs> think, but yes. <laughs> oh my fucking body's fucked. Oh, Don't God. drink alcohol, kids. Don't drink. What? Do How dare moment. you tell me that? I think I'll fight you tomorrow. Me? Okay. What? Yeah, what? You. Yeah. You. Yeah, I, I want to fight him. <clears throat> I want to. I want to fight him. You. You all right? You need to get some like energy out of your system. You need to get a girl, man. <clears throat> a girl man? Times are tough, I'm just Tony. Saying, Times are real there's, tough. <laughs> there's so Hosting many him. whores around town, man. Just choose one. I don't want a whore. Uh, I don't want a lady of the night. That's where the fuck is you... Marcus, at the mention of this, your mind immediately Damn. goes back to Adam Wick. A small period of time where there was someone. Someone that few people knew about and fewer people remember. <clears throat> you remember a night at the lake. And the rest? The rest is just memory. My last girl was a crazy half elf uh, who set herself in front of me, saying, I'm the reason uh -oh. she does a lot of things. Oh. So, no. I, That's fucking crazy. I'm looking for oh, someone. You need to yeah. not stick your dick in crazy, is rule number two. No one told me she was crazy, and I couldn't see it. How did you not see that she was crazy? There got she to be some flags before she slit her own throat. Well, she would call herself like a, what was it, a fae princess of the forest? <clears throat> something like that? That's, I thought it was That's cute. a red huh? flag. Ah, uh, okay. Mm, no, what, see, that, there's about a about. difference between a pixie man and a girl nice, and then... Normal girl. <laughs> that's a... That's I, know one, I know one person named fae. Uh, right. Well, then just find one. There's plenty of them around town, and all of them are gorgeous. There's so <clears> many <throat> gorgeous people and not this. There has to be something in the water. One that's not a lady of the night? Yeah, there's What's plenty. What's wrong with that? But there's so many merchant ladies that are nice, and they'll you do honest her, and are crazy. You no, could fix her, Marcus. You could fix one of them. No, I can't. What about the one in the green dress that you just showed up from Corcaded? Yeah, She's pretty. Yeah, she calls everyone darling, or whatever you, you, she says. Yeah, why not her? Hmm? Sorry, I'm belligerent. What were you saying? No, I, I was just saying that, you know. Marky, mate. Never mind. You I can't can say, say it when it's Don't quiet. ever Doesn't call me, me. Marky. Don't ever. <clears throat> Marcus, you can say that. Yeah, thank you. Marky. Uh, no. But that's yeah. what I no, said. No, Cade. You are never allowed to give nicknames. Save that ever for again. Mr. Markle. Makes more sense. No, Markle is Sparkle, and that is fine. Sparkle? Okay. Yes. Markle is mackerel. <clears throat> yes, for her it's mackerel, because that one's yeah. just as and funny. And I'm just Marcus. Don't... 
don't change it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I, I can't. Mean, really. I, I was thinking I about really... other nicknames they give you, but I can't say them without you getting severely angry at me. So yeah, well, I guess it's just he does market. have a nickname. No, just, I just, just don't know just if we can say no, it. No, I don't want to tempt fate. No judgment. I'm smart enough. No, no, no judgment. This this is the friendship <laughs> circle. You can say anything. If I say what I'm going to say, I'm not going to be your friend anymore. Just I'm just making it. that clear. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I going said something to. that was pretty damning, and we're doing fine. Go for it. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> not. As men get harassed by a, let's a just trio of glowing eyes. Not play with fire. You say it. You just whip okay. out the fucking. Let's I just... do it all the time. <laughs> but fine, fine. I'll I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, why not? What yeah. about your old nickname? What about <clears throat> that? Why can't they call you that anymore? That was good. What? The old one? What? The old one. Soap man. What? Soap <laughs> I don't really make soap hmm. anymore. You could. Whoa. Once you start <coughs> building Nautus back up. I see what you've been doing. Oh. You know, What's he that? built stone fucking flower beds in a night. Oh, yeah. For five Because well, you ordered it. Yeah. Yeah, that was cheap. You ordered it. I undersold you. Oh, I'd, I'd love to have five more silver, but I'm not gonna. We already did the deal. Well, if I need more flower beds, you'll get five more silver. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It was crazy. I was like, oh my god, they're already there. Yeah, I mm. worked. Oh, I had to work all night. And then I had a heat stroke yesterday. I don't fucking believe you broke but, yeah. the coat of my armor. Well, you know, I'm still here to help, thanks to you. <sighs> Yeah, no hey, it's great. Day day one, but Sunday he game. was the reason why that's Soma uh, lived to those orbs. That, two that's days great and stuff, two but I technically put, I gave him an <laughs> L's chess piece even, so yesterday, as, as a rental thing because I didn't think you'd break it. Chest, so now I have to right, remake L's armor it's and Sunday. his so armor. I come over to her and I'm like, hey, I've got a big fight coming up. How much fucking leather I already have to go She's like, I'll let you use this one as a rental. Stabbed in the back. That's no, messing all sorry. the glue and the wax I also <laughs> have to Sunday. fucking buy! <laughs> Jesus. I believe you. Hey, you know what? At least, at least I'm oh, keeping you with- uh, At least I'm keeping you my money's gonna go to good use. Nah, <clears throat> uh, I love oh, all that, which one? yeah. Focus up, focus up. He's alive! Oh. oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> you were saying? I told you she's not gonna fucking like me. Keep it low, they're upset. I, I didn't argue. Okay. <laughs> You're supposed to. Now I don't want to talk to her. It's gonna be a hard sell, but you can do it. <laughs> do I have to pretend? Maybe just like wean her onto myself? it a bit. <clears throat> Should I really just give her it all in one go? No. Slap her on the ass. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a drow. Maybe that's what I should do. Have you got all the rations? No, no. Are we, oh, are we, are we really, <laughs> are we really powwowing on how to deal with Lady Olana? Yes. She's, um, I, I she maybe just, just not Olana. seriously <laughs> right now. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, very serious question. Well, where she's an old friend. From out of town, and we've I've, I've seen you all fight together, so we know that she's involved. How involved are we talking? Very. If we're going to be clear here, well, who is she? Talk is she for low, because <clears throat> right. God. Look, if they trust them, then you should trust them just automatically. I'm not they saying don't that trust I anybody. Don't. No, I know, no, I, I trust her. Then why He's do you need to know? How much? Yeah, that he just wants to know. Like, do we talk what if about they her? don't want you to know? I'm sure they would have said. I don't no fucking Travis. know. Do will, will it really matter? Well, hey, you remember? You remember this morning? I didn't really have a good way with her at first. How am I supposed to talk with her? Wait, is she the one you messed up with? <clears throat> yes. I uh, so. Yeah, who... who is she? Why are you guys being so weird about it? I just want I, to know. I'm not being like, weird. Let's, let's, I have a reason to be weird. I, I, I'm the if, one if, who if, wants if to If they know. want to tell you, they'll tell you, okay? 
Okay. okay. Don't badger the man. Right, right. So, I asked, he's welcome to say, I don't want to say. I don't I want mean, to say. I mean, he did That's just meet her as well. Just say. But, but, we say that, and then people keep asking. Yeah, I know. That's the I will cease to ask then. <clears throat> Once, Thank you. once things are settled, it makes you feel any better. None of us know. We'll bring people into the fold. Is what I explained to. Yeah, is what I explained to Sarah Viv earlier, which I'm pretty sure is the case. It's not that you don't trust people; it's just amidst everything, you're still not sure what should or needs to be said. Eventually, it'll all come <clears throat> to light. Just yeah, timing. Mm-hmm. You're fine. I was questioning it too up until just a few hours ago. So, yeah, uh, it's not uh, information withheld with ill intent. No, not at all. We're not doing things behind your guys' back or anything. We're just working it out before we, you know, put it out there. <clears throat> Something to make mention of, though. And you were there for all this, of course. You know. Um. The public knowledge is the uh, orcs. Uh, we had a. There was more attacks happening on a keep up to the north. We were hired to take supplies, and the doctor showed up there to help aid. The orcs were there. They had a fucking troll. We engaged. The keep holds, but the the guards there. They were with the redards. Uh, men in yellow uniforms, they were severely, and I mean severely, under-equipped and under-supplied. There were men without of the with crossbows and no bolts, uh, le less purpose. armor, being able to fight on the front lines, it was on purpose, yes. Interesting. We learned that the Capitano has been intentionally withholding supplies, and when they did finally bother him enough to have supplies sent, they said the medical equipment that they got was nigh <clears> useless. <throat> Ruined, dirtied bandages, uh, potions that are, have gone bad long ago. So, for whatever reason, these supplies going to the Redods, guarding the ex outskirts, are being withheld. And either they're being withheld in their <clears throat> entirety, or they're being funneled somewhere else. You might not have heard him. You said you're about to leave. Do you need my hammer? I heard him. Uh, I think this is more of a subtle mission tonight. That told you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I even aren't gave you, aren't you very loud? Totally. It's not on my hip anymore. There it is. There it is. Huh? I am as loud Market. as I usually am. So yes. <laughs> I know. I was walking over to him. How's that feeling, by the way? Are you in a are you in condition to fight? Do you need a potion? <clears throat> Did you just touch my boob? No, I I pointed. Quit grabbing I pointed chests. at your yeah. gut. Does anyone need a potion? I have an extra at my shop. Right. I, I don't think we'll be getting uh, into much combat combat tonight. Arm, I'm just... There but will be no combat. He's... There we go. If it gets to the point of his fighting, we've already fucked up. Mm. Okay. That ship Understood. should be here. It's been showing up every three, two nights. What we're going to do is we're going to take the blacksmithy wagon. I'm going to bring us out to the Temple of Sora, where we've seen it. I'm going to stay with the wagon. <clears throat> the rest of you are going to try and get eyes on. If something goes wrong, we send Cage sprinting back, because he's faster than all of us. But it shouldn't. Understood? If I understood. get sent back, My Lord. where do you want me to go? Who do you want me to inform? Do you want me to look after the wagon? While you all do You really want to come, don't you? I want to make sure you're okay. <coughs> Let him serve you. Right. We only have a certain amount of slots in the wagon. Disappearing in the wagon. I understand, don't worry. Yeah. It's always nice to offer. I feel bad, though. Uh, yeah. Need an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> you need to rest. Question. <clears throat> I'll see you all when you get back. Thank you, Sibrook. Yes. I do have to make a run back into the city just to be prepared. What happens next? <laughs> Kidding, go ahead. I'm, I'm <laughs> I want to see if you have holes on the helmet. It did work. <laughs> I did, it did. Anyways, so if I do happen to have to run back, where would you like me to go? Who would you like me to inform? 
run straight back and either grab Morden and his men or any of the known allies we have. Worst comes to worse. <clears throat> mercenaries we can call upon. It shouldn't come to that. Mm. But that's what we'll do if it does. Very well. When we're out there, you listen to me. I'm relying on your eyes. But you listen to me. That way we stay alive. Let's get to the wagon and get going. I love wagons. I don't like boats. Boats are so much better, though. The boats are so bumpy. Hey. So much bumpier than the wagons. I imagine wagons. Uh. <laughs> Gross. I'm waking up! From Ash and Zest. <clears throat> Where do you think you're going? Your Excuse you? <clears throat> Where are you going? On my business. Right. Touch the cart and you for? die. What do you mean touch the cart? I'm here for my cart. Uh -huh. Then keep moving. Make it quick. I don't want to see your face. Hmm. I'll make sure the Carter's Guild knows about your disposition, Guardsman. I don't give a fuck how you feel. They don't care. They don't give a fuck about us. They already Good. are ready to kill us. I don't care. Hmm. I hope for it. <laughs> the fuck is he compensating for? Like that, but the Carter's Guild is backed by a noble. Um, somebody's pissed that the gods aren't getting their way recently. <clears throat> He's probably talking about that like tonight. The pissed because hmm? their shit's going missing. Come on. T here. Good. Fuck on a rolling. No, I want to. Never mind. Oh. I don't. I don't think it. Totally. <coughs> Get in the back of the wagon. What are you staring at me for? <laughs> Just making sure. I want to know where I should be. He's being mean. He's being direct. There's a difference. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. I'm seeing. All the words of the meme. Go and get yourself situated. My God. Yeah. All the way up. Don't make there. noise to get us caught. <clears throat> okay. Uh, should I get in? Yeah, yeah get in. wiggle yourself in. Huh? Well, that looks fun. <clears throat> You're already. Oh. Yeah, there's a cart behind yeah, us. Yeah, there's a wagon behind us. Excuse us. Sorry. I sure hope we're not going the same way. That'd be really awkward. <laughs> Is that the same fucking guard? Uh. Yeah, well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Should we fire the frontal cannons, or...? You guys want to race? Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to race to Milano? Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> you see the wagon, properly make a right turn onto the path. 
Yeah, right. sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> <coughs> well, he yeah, made a path, so he's not incorrect. <coughs> you want me to drive? No, not at all. <gasps> Fuck you. Oh, you say that with wait. malice. I'm a great you're a, you're a, driver. You're a, a cart god, not a driver. <laughs> um... <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't try. It does. It is a skill. <laughs> I've yeah. driven a cart before. Oh, I've driven a cart before. Yes, some people <laughs> slip through the cracks. <laughs> I didn't do it well, but I drove it. I've I've seen the carts drive you far more than you've driven carts. Oh, shut the fuck up. You haven't seen shit. I Chill distinctly <clears throat> recall you getting your legs stuck in a wheel and getting flopped around. That was because I fixed the wheel while it was still moving, something you could never accomplish in your entire life. Least... Yes, I did! Tazim, can I come sit I up with you? At the cost of your own leg. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. I was hoping you would. Yeah. I kind of don't want to be with these I'm people right now. They all stop. All right. oh, Thank fuck. You. I'm moving too. Don't fuck me. Nope. Time to go. <laughs> no. He's not on. He's not on. He's not on. <laughs> oh. Alright. <clears throat> Get on the fucking wagon. <clears throat> Alright, we're good. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Kinda be a shame if you got ready. ran over by the wagon. I miss you. Oh, yeah. Ready. <laughs> well, maybe I'm fucking not. Huh? Maybe now I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm fucking not. Oh my god! <clears throat> Stop looking at me, you freak! Don't <laughs> turn around again. <clears throat> <laughs> well, this is not good. We choreos. <laughs> around me. So glad I chose these people for their understanding of the nightmare. Oh, you <laughs> Do you see any other lights? Other lights. Okay. Too much alcohol tonight, my goodness. Stop. No other lights. <clears throat> Don't see them. Hey, you fucking morons! Can you shut up? Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. I need your eyes open. We don't know if they've got people in the tree lines as well. This is no shit. The men who have been smuggling for the Capitano, that means they have a connection to the Dread Knives. We don't know what the fuck we're getting involved in. I don't want anyone to die. We stay low, we stay out of sight. I will keep the wagon by the Temple of Asara and wait for you to scout things out. We need to know what they're talking about. Do you understand me? Understood. Roger. Kate, obviously you can't see in the dark, but you are nimble and quiet. Go with them and work with one of them as a pair. <clears throat> can do. We need to know how many men are there. Try to get a gauge. Try and figure out who it is that's there that's receiving the goods. If anyone in particular. And of course, where they might be storing it. All those buildings look abandoned, but there has to be one of them that's worth something. <clears throat> so, just one more time, <coughs> so we're all on the same page. Since we're almost there. I am parking the wagon by the Temple of Asara. I will wait for the rest of you while you go close enough to hear what they're saying and scan out the docks. Find out where, where they are putting the shipment. There has to be a building they're using. Find out who's in charge and try to get a count of men on the ship. Is that clear? Clear. Understood. Alright, we're here. I'm gonna park the wagon. You're good to go. 
Get it done. <clears throat> All right, with me. I'm just paying my respects to Azara. <clears throat> Why the fuck is Cade coming with the? Because he's sneaky and fast. He can't see shit. This is a scouting mission. Uh, yeah. That you what stick I with me but... when we go down there, okay? I'll see if I can counteract some of your um <sighs> inabilities. Meanness. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to say it like that, but yeah. That is a good ship. Oh, look at that beauty. We're not nearly there yet. Come on. Can you see the ship's outline? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Sharif, as you continue to walk forward, your eyes low. You see the ship down there. You remember your father's words. I want that ship. You're going to have to know how many men are on it or use it if you're ever going to ambush them. All right, all right. Oh, the beauty. All right. Well, Listen up. Some. Someone's active. Sarah and Cade will go down there. You're going to look to see where they're trying to import this stuff to. A warehouse, if possible. Maybe if you can overhear any names of people that they're taking it to. Torty and I are going to get closer to the ship. Mm. See if we can get a name of the ship itself, or maybe a captain. And we're also going to try and count how many people would be on the ship. While you're there, count how many guards you can. So we get a decent number. Any questions? Right. If shit goes Fuck. south. Fuck. There's supposed to be a row that leads out of here. We don't know exactly where it is. I'm guessing up this way. We should probably try and figure out where that joins Not the main road to. Too fast. It's right here. <clears throat> okay. If shit hits the fan, head around the back of these buildings and follow this road out into the woods. Alright. All right. Understood. Good luck. We have. Give it 30 minutes. Meet back here. If we can. Come on, Torty. Take my hand, Kate. Come on. I'm gonna get down on these roads. After them. Ready. Yeah. Alright, you're on the roof now. Alright. Okay. Someone told him. And you're passing around, you both see a figure that looks different than the sailors, just for a moment, as you came across this way. <laughs> While we're doing this, Kyler is using... he's gone. Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, Kyler's using his oh, proficiency oh. with stealth to try and counteract her deficiency. 
So if you wanted to even it out. Understood. <clears throat> yep. And come on. Do so. Slowly but surely, you see a figure that you don't recognize compared to the others. The first of it all being with the Capitano's fuck ups and the things taking place. My associates are not pleased. Apparently, they have figured out who it is has stolen these cars, and they are angry that the Capitano has done next to nothing. So it will be handled mm. by the Bloodhound. More importantly, because of the last incident with the Capitano, we have decided to start bringing fighting men with our shipments so Herbaja can fuck this up again. Of course. Check down that way. Make sure there's nothing. Around, huh? right. Listen to me, Raphael. The pressure has been put on to this Capitano, and because of how sloppy he is, Raphael, this is now almost his only source of spies. My only source of space back so they can continue creating serenity from the good product that comes from your province right now her is the weak link in the chain the capitano has started thinking about coming to get these things himself and what that means is you and everyone associated with her baja so, I think it is in your best interest, and of course mine, that that does not come to pass. So this is what we will do. We are going to change up the patterns that the ship comes. We are no longer going to stop at Black Rock. We will sail directly from Coracadis here. As we come here, we will jettison two smaller boats. We go to Nautis in the dead of night. We leave crates that are there and marked. They have X's in the corner like the ones we bring here. We have people in town taking care of that. You, however, will go out of your way to ensure that everything that is brought here makes its way to the fucking Capitol. Because I guarantee you his little farm that he has hidden somewhere will not be enough. He needs us, so he needs to unfuck this problem. Parts that can be specially tailored to ensure that things are hidden even better. And look only as though it carries one or two things specifically. It is a heavy, heavier parts. You know, the ones that are used for shipping stone and iron. Of you course. Can use some of those. Good. The 13, you saw his head rear up for a moment and looked around and looked and nothing what seems out of the wise to As you both stayed low in the dark, for now it seems you're unnoticed. With no issues. After all, stone isn't being sold on streets anymore. You are correct. You are very correct. But you must be careful with the way you do things. It is clear there are people snooping around. Carry on, Raphael. Thank you. And the echoes on the other side. Sounds of rocks moving and cracking.
You watch carefully as men begin to move up and down through the planks, moving boxes to and fro. Rolling. Can I catch the name? <clears throat> One moment. From this angle, you can't really see it. It's hard to tell. Seems you'll have to get on the other, probably the other side of it. You're a fucking pirate. Okay. How many people do they normally have in a ship in this kind of operation? What's the minimum for people on that ship? Realistically, it's, I think it's like 12 mm. a god, you recall? Rolling toward you on your knowledge. With a four, yeah. hard to say. There's two really? it can go for a bit large range. You're not too uh, sure. Um, it could be any number of people. Twelve would be a good number. Uh, it could be twelve. It could be a... forty. It could be fifty. I yeah. could fit on that. You start hearing it's the men 12. speak in front Minimum of you. Twelve, maybe ten, pushing it. And it kind of draws your ear. Come on. No, no, Without no, no, the goods, I'll never gonna leave port. Arbaja, that's it. Arbaja. Arbaja. Mm. Arbaja. as soon as possible. in present. He's going to try and hoist her up to the ship bit. Is there any... Understood. As you both are attempting to do this quietly on these old rugged crates, it's not great as the sound of a... As you feel the crate starting to crack underneath you. If you want to do this, you're, you're going to make a loud sound as you start realizing that. What? The... I, can, I can climb up this. It's okay. Oh, uh, God. If I... My crowd, um, climb all and respawn here. Yes, please do so. All right. You're the one carrying the fucking crate. This fucking crate squeaky. This is the fucking third one. Those toll bridges of the straits. Half the shit here is destroyed anyway. If we weren't there, we'd be able to go farther. <laughs> but this is as close as we can go. But what happened? We're now. Let's get our more loading. Good job, Dido, and I'm fucking exhausted. We do. people 
come toward her, you begin to move quietly against the ship, and no one seems to know the wiser right now. But slowly but surely, you begin to move on. Get a crew count and a name of the ship. That's all. Thank come back. Up there. Okay. It's fine. He's got the last one. All right. I'm having to get a count on the ship. Behind you, behind you. There's 40 men, in total. In total? Including the ship? Mm. Okay. Yes, the warehouse has to be either this... Oh my god, what is that? Either this building here with the door open, or that one. I think the boxes have been going in there, though. That open crevice. Alright, I'll get Torty back. Here's to the game you're full of the It's time to go. I want my ship out of port. Get it moving. Get the plank up. <clears throat> the six calorie trying to help out, but 
she's kind of moving faster than you, and then... <sighs> Come on, okay. The ship starts creaking and moving. Go. You did really good. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whew. I'm gonna follow this road until we figure it's out where it all links up to the main trippy. one. I need to inform both of you. You probably saw it, but there is a man here. The creakings that... begin to move slowly but surely as the ship begins to pull out of port. Like an amoeba. A double... <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna say anything. I thought I was gonna be saying it. Totally not sus. <sighs> Don't mind Philbrick, his bones are broken. I'll be just fixing myself in a moment. Oh, I need to stop standing up so fast, I'm gonna fucking hit the ground. No, I'll just do it more often so it becomes easier. No. I don't want to break my fucking face. Alright, Torty Shulbrook. <laughs> Head back to the cart. Sarah and I are gonna fill this road until we figure out where it links up. Mm. Okay, sounds good. Right. Roger. Follow her eyes now. <laughs> Stay off the main road in case they're watching it. Stick to either side. Your father isn't getting haggled. How'd you two go? Um, Shelbrook's a little clunky, but we made it. The only thing we found out is that there are 40 men in total. What I wasn't expecting to find out is that one of them can see in the dark. Yeah, that's how they navigate. By potion or by birthright. Mm. As you both come closer, you both you see the struggle marked clear as day all around you. I'm moving into the temple. Oh. Carefully. Yeah, Split up. Slowly but surely, you begin to creep up. Begin to move slowly in. Take a look around. It's hard to see from here. The statue is blocking your way, even with a four. But you hear, just for a moment, a small sound, and then you see it clear as day. with me. Okay. Stay low. Right. Sorry, what's happening? Ten got years. What's going on? Drow got him. A zero. Two drow. What? Oh, oh no. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be useless in this stage. Okay. I can't see for shit. I've got some. I'll make my way back to the wagon. Try and get behind them. Huh? I'm gonna try and get behind them. You stay. Okay. There. In case.
if shit happens. Stupid, you know, they're not gonna come here. Well, I think with a natural I twenty. You're both hidden, obscured without sight. No one sees you right now. Should you choose, this is your one best opportunity. How do you wanna handle that? How do you wanna so handle this? gonna step out of the bush. Understood. As matron. the bush begins to shruffle, the matron hears you step out as you step out. So, the runaway finally shows up. May I approach? Get in front of me now. I am not moving. Your little friend, too. Sharik. I know about all of you. <laughs> With a natural trauma. I think I might have just given you away on accident. I think they meant that one. As you both come Great. out, That's thinking helpful. you had given them away, you watch as two other figures just close by begin to come out of the bushes. And you watch as your other comrade loudly begins to land behind you. All sides, you are surrounded. Your thoughts begin to wonder just where were they? You were so careful, you were so quiet, but somehow they got behind you and around you, not neither of you figuring out when, where. And you watch as you look in the woman's eyes, her red eyes that peer through darkness. <laughs> Thought you could run away. No, of course not. I looked for you, actually. Guess you were busy. I have what you want. Show me. That's me. Покажи мне. thought I wanted <laughs> an amethyst. I mean, if you know what it's capable of. Capable of? Do you even know what you have had? It's just a pretty rock. If you want to believe that, I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> you wouldn't. Either you are lying, or you simply do not know better. Which is it, hmm? You watch as she looks at you. Her eyes look you and yours. You can feel she's trying to gauge you right now. Trying to understand, trying to gauge what you actually know. I know what I she saw. She sits there, like... Whatever you saw was something else. That is just a crystal. Okay. 
hold this one. Вы оба берите ножки в шее. Нож сейчас. So, what did you see in this rock? Hmm? Everything around it was dark. Dark for even us. I was robbed of my sight. A creature with an outstretched maw and hand. Whatever it is, it is capable of something. You might not be able to see it, but I have. Something like that does not come from a crystal. And if it did, it would be positively vibrating with the energy. That one is inert. Nothing but rock. Then I failed you. What will you do next? You coldly, coldly watch as she begins to think. Her eyes begin to wander to all of you slowly and back to the old man. And she see her head slowly tilts back to you with a slight glint to her eye. Well, you thought it was important. Didn't you? I still do. And you did bring it to me. <laughs> you did not fail. Yet. <sighs> hmm. What to do with all of your little whelps? You asked me about the Underdark last we spoke. Said you were interested in helping. Maybe you can. After all. You do what you say you will do, even if what you bring is not what you think it is. You might be ignorant, but clearly capable. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, Matron, you are not wrong. I will tell you what you asked me about. There is a ceasefire with the Dwergar because of those rats. The Drashnik. We came to an agreement with them. In a time like this, those are petty squabbles. Most of our major settlements are safe once more. For now. <clears throat> Can 
Kyler, Depends he's going to look at you. Is squinting, the trying to see in the prepared. dark. Just being able to see the glint of your eyes. I believe that she intends he's going to resurface. hope that you can see his, and he's going to look down several times towards the flash powder on his belt and ask him if he should or should not. Spell for everyone. More and more of us are being sent up here. I'll narrow his eyes for a moment. Embedding I don't trust your judgment. in politics. As distasteful as they are among these people. We are going to rot them from the inside out. Weaken them. Take over. I'm sure you know. It's worked before. It will work again. As it always has. A lot of the smaller dominions are being absorbed by the larger. The fighting force is being restructured. And for the first time in thousands of years, a diplomat was sent to Eshmatalas. We have made contact. Things are changing, like I told you. Always moving. Our agenda is being pushed forward at every opportunity. The fight for our people is only just beginning, but it is already so far underway. You have done well to keep to your word. While it might be just a rock, you did as you promised. You brought me what you thought was important. <coughs> that is exactly what I need. <coughs> I will have a job for you soon. know this. If you try to run, their lives are forfeit. You hear the words echo out, cold as ice, as they begin to feel it shiver down your spine. The images of them with their cold blade around their necks. You have my word. Show me that I can trust you. Hmm? Yes, Matron. Very good. For a moment, when our eyes come to you, Tyler, he looks at you and it's just nothing. So empty to you, not even worth a glance. A while since I've seen that. Отпусти. Да. Take your playthings. Get back to the cog now. Go. You should work on this one's nothingness. He disrespects you. Thank you, Matron. Ah. Mm. Stop right there. Watch I mean, the blades are drawn. Shh. The rest can go.
Please. Show him. Show him that he is not to dishonor you in any way. Let me see how you train yours. The rest of you, leave. With a simple command, you watch as all their blades are sheathed. They slowly begin to back up and disappear into the darkness. I mean you. And you. I don't belong to you. <laughs> Shari, please. <laughs> Matron, please, let me look at you. <laughs> Maybe you will. Tonight, next week. What say you? I belong to my mistress. Be mine. <laughs> As is custom. He well, watches her. Her voice. You can hear a smile and a chuckle coming from it. Her eyes glint and look at yours. You can see a sense of enjoyment from this. Twisted. You know it. Tell him to leave, then. <laughs> It'll be over soon, Shariq. Please, go back to the cart. You have to beg them to leave. It's not begging. It's different up here, you should know that. These are not drowned. Get the card ready. Okay. Heavily. 
Just need See a, a mass amount of blood. I have a potion if you need it. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, advance healing. <coughs> kind is it, just so I know. Uh, advanced healing? Understood. Plus three. As you begin to chug the potion, the blood gets <sighs> soaked into your hand. It's dreadful. <laughs> However, as you smash into the ground, you feel your adrenaline surging, and so slowly you feel the wound closing into your arm. And with an 18, the wounds begin to slowly close, and the blood stops, but your hands and arms are covered in. Do you need the potion? He watches the man. Oh, man. I know what I expected. I'm sorry. Hands are covered in blood. But it doesn't seem much more is coming out. She coming with us? Yeah. Do you need the potion? I have a He's potion. He's got it. Fine. Okay. Get in the cart. Oh, she's on her way. Yeah. To bandage your arm. Does anyone have bandages? I was given a potion, am I right? <clears throat> if you need bandages, I do have some. But make sure we're loaded up. <sighs> Don't they be so selfish, Shilbrick. Can you drive? Slowly but surely, you, you hear the sound of everyone has boarded onto the cart. You begin to trudge through the dark, slowly moving down the dark winding way. I heard about our unexpected guests. Yes. At the very least, we know what we're up against. They think oh, they're so fucking is... smart. This is my first hearing about them. Who are they? I don't know. I think it's some sort of drow war party, scout party, led by a matron. The equivalent of a noble up here. Not to be fucked with. But we can't let them walk all over us, either. I see. So what happened back there? Why did they grab you? I have no idea. They thought I was one of the smugglers at first. I asked about the men down there, told them I had no fucking clue. They have been herding humans. Capturing them. They refer to them as cattle. Ah, that's pleasant. I thought, they were only run. I thought there were only three or four of them at first. They were all around the temple. I don't men. think they were waiting. There were more than that initially. They left before you arrived. Fuck. So there's more than she's telling me about. Of course there is. She's a fucking matron. She probably has hundreds. <sighs> well, we played the game this time. It's far from over. But I'm not gonna Did... let that happen again. I heard that you were right. punished. Was the phrase used. There's something to satisfy a fucking ego, I don't know. Politics are politics. Sarah played them. We're alive. What matters is what we do next. I said, are you all right? I'm not worried about you. I'm all right. It was hard to hold my tongue, but I'm all right. She made sure of it. I swear it. I 
That woman, though. If she was able to discern anything about that, either she was lying through her teeth, or she's another one of those who can sense magic. Maybe yeah. she's the ignorant one. I thought that... Maybe. She, she doesn't see what I saw. But Vesran also says it wasn't charged. So I don't know if he tempered with the damn thing and released whatever was in it before giving it to me. Fame? Well, there's something... Yes. It's a long story, Shilbrook. Oh, God. I mean, there's more. What I was going to say, though, is Faye has done something similar with crystals for golems. But when they hadn't cast on it for a while, it, it, it I don't know, wore off, dissipated. And it returned to whatever it was before, which was an emerald at the... Oh, an emerald at the time. Maybe the same thing happened here. Which is good. So That's a good thing for us. That thing that some of us witnessed wasn't from the crystal. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea, but that's where I'm leaning towards. If that is true, that means it had another source. It didn't just fucking show up. I told Vezin what I thought the source was, but he disagreed. What were you thinking? His... His arm. <laughs> fucking arm. Is this thing you're talking about our old friend? No. No. Recently, so Vezrin had done vibe. something. He was he trying to remove the poison from his body. That shit on his arm. Tried to focus it into a crystal, much like Faye has done yes. and Eandil has done. Mm. It didn't work. Something, I don't know, was attracted to him? Or appeared to him? Or fuck if I know. Thing? Did, did he describe it? Yes, a, he said a cloaked figure with a blade, no face, gauntleted arms, pitch black. He spewed darkness and shadow. Oh, fuck. Like a miasma. When, when <sighs> Azran uh, did it, he described it more like he was uh, trying to picture himself in the crystal more than anything else. That is Why how he described it. I, uh. <sighs> seems there's a lot <clears throat> more going on. I still need to sit down and get word of. But, I mean, if it does involve Mirandorn, his shenanigans, it's, uh. worth talking hey, about. He's a yeah. lot better than how he used to be. Agreed. <sighs> well, we all are, I think. Mm. That's the hope. The, um. At one point, I, uh, met with the robber baron. The, uh, demise of shock. Yeah, there was, um... Apparently, during a mission where we were supposed to kill some of his men, I chose to spare one of them and leave them for the rest of the robber baron's men to pick up. I guess he was grateful for that. I both paid handsomely for his rescue, but... Are you taking me credit for what castle? I did at the same fucking temple we just came from? Mm, it wasn't that. You you are you opted to spare them, but the one that we were walking away with, that everyone else wanted to have turned in, I was the one who vouched to leave him behind. And so mm. I did. Remember that selfish decision I made? No. I didn't think I was Against selfish. everyone's wishes, I, you I were pulled him off. Your own time. Don't lump me in with them. I was arguing with them the whole time. Same team, right. same team. Yeah. Either way. Hold my tongue for now, now that we're in town. To the docks, please. Of course. We need to figure out what to do about this. I don't have long to be up, so... There was something I should get some you rest. and then take my leave. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. There's a... Uh... <sighs> Taking on a band of orcs always wipes you out. Yes, God. <sighs> Everyone out! <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I'm turning all these. I'll make this brief. I literally cannot. Move. Please, I, I, yeah, neither can I. Oh. oh fuck. How do I? I don't even know. Just make your way Whoa. to the house. Yes. I'll move inside. Make this brief. <clears throat> You've got that look on your face. What is it? I hate that that's a part of me. It'll be a moment. It's not. I Would you say that. the same of me when it comes to the antics of the Empyrean? It's different. No. They are human and I am human. They are drow and you are drow. But that doesn't define who you are at all, by any means. You're different. She's different. It's a frustrating situation to be a hey. part of. Look at me. You are nothing like that at all. Whatsoever. You are your own man. You have been since the day I met you. You just did not know yet. Now we're going to figure this out, we're going to find out what that bitch wants. Because whatever it is, it's going to be a problem for us, I know it. And we're going to undercut the fuck out of her and kill her men. I can get behind Do you that. understand me? We will not be caught off guard again. Good. For fuck's sake. I'll make this brief so that I can depart. Because. You come inside, I've... Khalil. I want to. Honestly, ecstatic about that whole interaction because they did not react at all at me. Um, Am I more common than I thought? No. <sighs> right. The reason so, why they didn't even look at you I is because you are not good enough to trip be noticed. Cut. Who's this? Okay. Tell me. My name is Galeo. Galeo, he's an ally. He has men watching the coast for us, letting us know in advance when the Imperial ships are on the way. No. Oh. He is an ally. Mm. How much of an ally? <laughs> he knows most of the shit that we're in, and he's friends with Venora. Actual Venora. Good enough. I met with the Baron. He uh, offered his gratitude. Talked about his presence here, his intentions. He uh, was curious about my name when he heard it. Apparently he's familiar with my father. Your who father. I assume is still working with the Institute. My parents were minor nobles. My mother, a scholar, my father is an artificer of sorts, worked with the Institute. He asked if I still had connections with him. I assume Mirren has expressed interest. Uh, sorry for using that name. He's expressed interest as well, considering uh, there's. I don't know, there's. something that, of course, he's chasing after. Something he wants. Apparently, there's a lot more about what's going on on that side of things than. I'm aware of, but the Baron asked me to deliver a missive over to my father to see if I could help, I'm guessing, rekindle something. I don't know, but Mrs. either way, it looks like I, to m my father, and, we're not and I don't know exactly what he'll be asking, but I don't know what the Baron wants, the robber Baron wants. It certainly has to do with the same jib-jab that Vezrin talks about. But Vezrin I would rather somebody knows... Vezrin interested in magical items. Aye. I would rather someone who knows what they're doing get involved in that than us. Mm. Mm. I... My attempt will be to reconnect with him as much as it aches me to attempt. And... 
I suppose we'll see how he responds to the robber baron. But it's worth informing you, since, again, there is a lot of magical jib-jab going on, as you would put it, that I'm simply unaware of. But... We'll have a long talk when you come back from your trip. I'll tell you what I know. Mm -hmm. Understood. I'll say it just for posterity's sake. Don't make the same mistake. Mm. I know. No. Then I choose to trust you and I won't bring it up again. We will be waiting for your return. We need notes on uh, the stuff we found out, if please. I'll make it as quick as I can. Should be three, four days. A lot of riding. Very well. Hopefully, when you come back, we're all still here. Good night, Sean. You all stay safe. And if, for whatever reason, you're not, I'll take that as a tip. Pack up and go, I don't know where. We always find each other. I wouldn't worry. Stay safe, Kate. Thank you. You as well. <sighs> Galeo has trusted men that may be able to help with this problem if it gets out of control. Men who know what they're doing. It would be best if he is informed. I would put my life on the line for it. You already have. <sighs> there is a drow matron on the surface, leading a party of eight plus very skilled drow soldiers. Oh, fuck you. They're looking for something old that is in the hands of surface dwellers and doesn't belong on the surface. Ring a bell. Elf. I don't frequent settlements, and anything of power that comes from below is not often spread. Word about it, even less. Those that do know of it are usually killed. If Who is your <coughs> commanding officer, if you don't mind? I don't have one. Well, on his see, own. I gained honorary nobility. I can go through Eshmar with no questions. I will even have people give me answers to some questions. So if I tell you that the matriarch has told her subordinates to start preparing the surface, that wouldn't reach the wrong ears, would it? You think that I'm going to tell someone in the middle of Eshma any information? It might need to reach the right ears. She's not the only one. And they are making moves fast. And concise. They are rounding up humans, referring to them as cattle. In intercepting smugglers in the night to do so. With not having any care of any of the supplies. So I can only assume they're already well stocked. Are you aware of the war in the Underdark between the Duragar and the Drow? That I am. There's been a ceasefire because the rats have become such a problem. So much of a problem that I think the Matriarch is tucking her tail and fleeing out of our fucking home instead of fixing it. And all of her little pups are falling in line. And we do not have time. So if you have anyone <coughs> in Eshma who could use that information to slow them or stop them, by all means. You should know that the drow have already sent a diplomat 
to Eshma. What? Yes. You and I both know not all of Eshma is against the Underdark. Wait, you there are know some that. sympathizers. No. Why would that be kept from you? Because I don't support some of the older houses. Let's simply say my original house, the one I was we brought in for military training, was killed in the first war. Eradicated. I'm a new Norway. I've only ever been told by a veteran of one house like that. Was that the one that was replaced by Silverlight? Yes. It was. Your house was slaughtered in the first trial war. There's a reason why I took a company into the depths. And no matter what, would not yield ground. I see. Uh -huh. That makes more sense. <sighs> well, what about Lord Silverlet? He's not a fan of Ienda. Should he I not know? I can try to reach to him. I don't, I don't know if Ienda should know or not. No, not Ienda. If... Lord Silverlet. That's a question for Vesrin. He knows him better than we do. We should talk Let's about this more tomorrow time. when my head isn't falling out of my fucking ears. I agree. This is not something new. The Drow have done no. this before. Spilled out of the Underdark and attempted to claim the surface as their own. They've tried. They know what to do. And I don't know if we have a lot of time. Well, on the very least, it sounds like their war will be with Eshma Thalas. But we need to figure Soon out why that they can come out. here. Because Soon. you said something right there, what you just said. That that's the only way they can come out. That's been their biggest issue, hasn't it? Their bottleneck. Kind of. You with the rats. Told me that. With the rats, the other entrances, un other entrances, secret or not, hard to get through or not, they are. And you cannot get to them. That? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. They're working with the Duragar now. That I'm not upset about. I am upset. That instead of fighting for their land and dying for it, they're fleeing. It's disgusting. And I will not let them. Well, then we figure out what to do with the matron here. I have a job from her in a few days. Hopefully. Then continue to get close to her. Let her hubris yes. blind her. You know how to play the game. Play it. Just let us know Without if we get caught in the crossfire. Never again. That was my fault. I should have come with her. No. No. This is my doing. She would have found me if I was at Belano, if I was at Nautis. The fact that I was around you at all at night is a problem, and it's going to be limited exactly from now on. As skilled as they are, makes me think either of our elven allies or Strider as possible solutions. I also have another option. I'm working on it. Yes, I would stay away another from that. Drow. Uh, another Drow? Who? I don't know his name. He is very old, and he's been a business partner of mine for a bit now. 
I don't really trust him just yet, but he knows more than I do about both the surface and the Underdark, and I plan to drink every last bit of information. He will help me take care of her, if anything. Strider... Are you sure? I can't work with Strider. I would need to work and rely on a third party to be able to control him, whether it's the fucking mechanic or whether it's Marcus. And to be honest, I don't want to get anyone else dragged into this that doesn't have purple skin. He's risky, but he knows what to do. He's given me advice already, and I plan to follow it. That's what got us out of that shit. Is he part of a house? Do we know his name? He's a free-thinking drow, and has been for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that means, but... Very he well. doesn't follow the matriarch, the etiquette of drow, the goddesses. He is his own person. Very similar to your son and Torty here. But vastly older. Way more experience on both terrains. He was in the Underdark before the Wrath of Talons, at the First Drow War. I'm pretty sure he fought in it. He alludes I to no one in the yeah. I don't know his name, and I don't think I will ever get it. Then pass mine along. Say that you saw an elf. Tell him that Galeo the Wall's moving about. We'll see Maybe I will. Trust, I don't know. Might be enough to identify him. Smart. Should I say you're looking for him? Not even looking. Now you can if you want. I'm sure he'll find you as soon as I sh He probably already knows you're here, to be honest. I wouldn't doubt it. If what you said is free thinking, those kind are deadly. In his own way, but so is the matron. Better fight the ones that are underneath, rather than one that knows top and bottom. He's an ally. For, my for now. He's not bound oh. by a code. <sighs> hmm. Then we will act on this as soon as we have more information. And you will have to gather that information. I don't have to rely on you for best. that. When it comes time to challenging them, or trying to undo them, your best bet is the other two. If there's any way we can help, we will, obviously. If I can get her to leave, without finding out that I don't agree with her, that is our best bet, for her to move the fuck on from Nautis. Realize that whatever she's looking for is not here, after we find out what it is. I have a selfish thought. What if it was reported back that she was killed by the Imperium? <laughs> that would only bring more of them. You cut the head off of one and seven more grow in its place. But they'd have no reason to stay. But the Imperium... It would allude that they were Claudia. looking for something and they didn't find it. Maybe. We might have Just to a thought. tweak it a bit. Maybe frame it. Say she's not dead, but she is, and send a letter back. I know that I can find a way. Lie to the matriarch. Throw them off. <coughs> oh my god. Shariga, I must speak with you. I'm gonna go to bed. I need Before to. Before you disappear, Dizzy. Yes. I have soldiers that are able um. to move as necessary. Not many. And very few of them are still able. Easily accessible outside currently. There's maybe seven waiting. They're there to make sure I get back so we can patrol the orcs. I'm there. I still have a decent part of the company that's still alive and still loyal to me. <clears throat> Would they leave to come to you if you ask them? Considering that they're all survivors, yes. 
Maintain that connection, Glow. I love need of it. Thank you. I have a request, Might actually. Have some elven runners to you at some point. I've been dealing with a lot of elven rangers recently, and they wear a type of armor similar to yours, but quieter. Though it is plate and chain. Made, yes. I was wondering if I could get my hands on a set. Is that possible? I can't promise anything. Moving armor out is harder than people. Mm. You should see the ledgers in the libraries. Trust me, bad. Might be something that Marcello can help with. I figured. I haven't seen him in a bit, though. Right, you you have done a lot of favors for him. Yeah. Also pitching my name I there. saw him today. Surprise me. He gets oh. around more than He's I do. He's not near notice, but he might be tomorrow. Then you'll need to speak with him. Very well. We'll convene there tomorrow. There may be runners for you. Just keep that in mind. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna head back into the forest. Stay safe. I'm gonna go try to put well, my brain back glad. in my head and hope it still works. Glad. Good night, all of I'll you. Be, and I'm sorry. Good night. Don't be. They're just dosed with tits. Come on. Uh, uh, did you want to know the ship information? I'll come right back down. Okay. I need to talk to my son. Thank you, Sarah. Don't I understand me. it fully. scowl any harder, you're gonna make my brain melt. It's been a day. Has something else happened I don't know about? Apparently, according to this drawer that Sarah's been talking to, dread knives coming to notice. Are you sure of that? Why? I don't know. It could have something to do with this uh, trade of serenity we've been interrupting. They are pretty deep with it. Fuck you. Yeah. Probably right. I'm still reeling from the information that that Merc gave us. A large family in Grandia. Was that just a clever way of saying the Dread Knives? Or is there actually a noble family involved in this? No, I have a name. Chat, what was the name of the fucking family? A name. A name from, uh, Blackrock. Uh, Nolan? Nolan? Something like that. Nolan. Do I know that from... Problem, are they? My history with Blackrock. By the way, I haven't had time to ask. Let me roll. The three, they don't sound familiar. I don't remember much, but those kind of people rise and fall all the time. You have an entire fucking town of criminals, they're gonna undermine the shit out of each other all the time. Probably new. Or good at what they do. Without interruptions from everyone else. With everything that you have seen and know that we're involved in. How fucked are we? Is this something we can outsmart? Or outfight? How do you fight a shadow? Catching it out in the open where there's nowhere to go. Can't do it with a sword. They know who we are, specifically, or at least what we look like. They've sent this 
bloodhound after us, which was another name that mentioned uh, earlier today. It seems to be related to the Capitano. It'd be hard to fight it. It'd be hard to root it out. All right, so we sever the connection here. They get angry about it and they come here in force. What do we do about that? They'd need support. They'd need places to lay low. Areas to stash armaments. Supposedly, if we are in charge of the guard force by then, we can conduct raids. Thankfully, you have people like myself who've seen how they work, and Marcelo, for that matter. He would also be a valuable ally then. You think you'll help? If what he's telling me about his history is true, yeah. Think about how connect the inflections in his voice, the way he carries himself. Do you think we can trust him? It's hard. I want to say yes, but I also know that I want to say yes. I want to be able to trust him. It's not a completely so unbiased. Not yet. If I could find test him more. more by working with him. Yeah. I could let a few the best thing we can do then is room. bits of information yeah. drop out about we knowing dread knives are showing up. You said you had ways to hear things in other places. Do you have ways to spread misinformation, perhaps? Shouldn't be too hard. What do you want spread? Remember, we do have that Dropbox we have access to. We can put whatever the fuck we want in there and it will spread directly to the people we need it to. But it needs to be done in a specific way. There's a multitude of things we could do. Well, if Marcel is telling the truth, that's an ally. If this other drow Sarah's been talking to is telling the truth, that's an ally. If we are in charge of the guards, that is an ally too, especially if they don't know we're in charge of them. That's the most important part. If they think they still have the guards under control here, we could lure them into a trap. But then why would they come here if... They'd only come here in force if we rooted them out to begin with, I guess, so... That bloodhound doesn't seem to give a fuck. He's here for revenge, it seems. I don't think the bloodhound is directly related to the dreadnoughts per se. He's a hunter. Though, probably they use him quite a bit. Then. I would guess so. Instead of trying to fight all these factions, I'm trying to think of if there's a way we can pit them against each other. Is there a way we can blame this next couple of raids on the Imperials? Be very hard. Yeah. They've got their un enough of their own issues. Why would they do it? They're just so disconnected. The Dread Knives are a complete other entity. Dreadknives and Capitano are together. Theoretically, the Redods themselves wouldn't want Dreadknives in here conducting business, but 
They let it happen with the Capitano too. They're not really a reliable force. I don't know. It's hard. We need to follow up more leads with the Capitano. I keep circling back to this. We've got to get him out of that position before this gets worse. Otherwise, it's like having enemies right behind us while we're trying to fight with our backs to a wall. We heard a few things today, or tonight, when we were looking up the ship. If we can stop the supply route from the ship, that's his entire income of Serenity and Spice now. Good, that means we've strangled the rest of it out. Mm -hmm. And Blackrock is only a stop. It's coming directly from Corocatus. So it is from the Free Wolf. It is from the Free Wolf. And because of people's meddling, next time they bring ships, they're bringing trained men, fighters, actual fighters, not just people on the boat. That's not hopeful. And we guess, well, from what they've said, at least from what we've heard, there's about 40 men, including the ones on the ship, involved in that operation. A desire for that ship might just be a pipe dream, then. Buck. It's really banking on that. It might be doable. It'd be doable if Raylan was here. Yeah. I'd forge a chain. Have her set it up underwater beforehand. And then when the time come, while the ship's moored, I'd have her pull it up and we chain it to one of the rocks on the other side. Ship wouldn't be able to leave port, they'd be stuck. Severic's a diver. Well, we've got nobody that can maneuver underwater. It's a diver, but it's a chain. It's yeah, a heavy ass yeah. chain. Also a fucking hobbit. Yeah, also a fucking hobbit. What if we could sneak onto the ship and drop the anchor? We still need to deal with the men, but at least oh, they can't flee. Boy. Drop the anchor. When you drop it, the chain over a metal rim, t -t 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 -t, like everyone will hear it. You'd have to be able to get out of there fast. And even then, they could lift it up. It would take them time. But... Time we might need. Even then. Unless... Mm hmm. How good are you at climbing? I can do my best. I know there are certain potions available that can make it easier. That's how I got into the keep. Can you bring Tori in here, please? Tori. What's ready? Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is my room, don't touch anything. Okay. Yeah. Quick question. Yes. You can climb a ship mast, right? Yes, pretty quickly, yeah. Before you get all bouncy and stupid on me. Okay. If you had to climb one as quickly as you can, could be people shooting at you, boats, you think you could do it? Easily. They would be able to bring the anchor up over time. If you both went up the separate masts, stuck a knife into it and rode it all the way down, they're not going anywhere. They'll be stuck in the port. They'll have no wind they can use. That's still 40 I'm men. On ship. I understand, but if you can get up there without being seen. You know, you don't have to destroy the sail to do it. That's just a couple of ropes you need to loosen. On either side. And if there's men working the ship, they'll notice. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. 
As I said, my original idea was to try and put a chain up behind it. I could try if once I had my steel, I have the necklace. But I'm not a fast swimmer. I'd have to wait. Tang, if he's not heard, yeah. Good. He could walk all the way from fucking Nortis underwater. And remember, he only needs to put the chain in. He could do that when there's no boat there. When there's no people there. Will he do what I say? You think he wouldn't? There are times when he's been uh, 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 and questioned what I was trying to get people to do. Well, we'll do what you say. We'll Something steal like a fucking boat for fast. you. Will you? Yeah, absolutely. We could do it just before the attack. Or maybe just after. Draw their men away from the ship itself. Once that happens... This is how it would work. Hmm. I know I keep doing this to you. Can you bring us a broker here, please? <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this one, Chief. Mr. Erha, we'll see you now. Yeah, I gotta be. I set my appointment a week ago. I know. We said three to four business days. And then we had the long weekend. No, no, you're very cordial. <sighs> Stage Did four, you? thank you for coming. You can go now. Okay. That ship that comes into the port that I told you about, past Bolano. Hi. I think we have a way to get it stuck in port and ensure it doesn't go anywhere. But it has to be taken by force, and apparently now it's going to have around 40 men on it. Ooh, Fighters now, too. Which means, I don't know if that means they're replacing or they're just adding on to the 40. So... Okay. How can we deal with 40 men? <laughs> Carefully. With 50. Good way, though. If a person can be smart, but people together can be really fucking stupid. Is that a scare? People panic, usually. Scare. One loud bang, usually. <laughs> Covers most of that, but... How good are you with rudimentary traps? Hear me out. Mm, you okay. have the port itself, and it's against a cliff. The road zigzags up. If we could use Tang to place some heavy boulders the day before, and get them to either chase us up the ramp, or bunch up somewhere, and then several of us up top roll those boulders down. Do you think we could inflict enough casualties where the rest will break? Yeah, I can end, I can build something pretty damn brutal. <laughs> yes, that's what you need. It could work. I'd like to think of a way that involves less broken bodies. But it's right. hard to. Ideally... Injured, so that they have to spend more men to bring them back. Bring them back to where, though? Because we need the ship. That's the goal. They'd bring them to the ship. Most of them are mm -hmm. from the ship, right? They'd bring them to the ship. That ship has cannons, by the way. But none of it would be facing us if it's in port. <sighs> Could we turn it? Oh, turn God, it. I don't fucking know. I don't know how to <laughs> sail a ship. I know how to give orders, not I sail. Uh, I mean, it would take a couple of people to actually do the whole thing, but uh, we could. Can you show us how, how? Can we man a uh, ship with our number? We need at least, like, 
You said 12 or so. I never had any less than eight. Yeah, yeah 12 is the comfy number. How big is the uh, ship? Can we crew it? It's huge. It's got three masts. It's a, oh. It's a small galleon. Yeah. That's a, like a 50 to 100 men usually crew the... I mean, up to, yeah, but a minimum, yeah. you can ha have a, you know, smaller crew. I've done it before. Okay. Yeah. 12. We need to be shown how, but... I don't know if that's the way There are roles in it, but... Oof. Right. Plus, do we really want to broadside a fucking town? <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh I've never god, even god, shot a no. cannon before. I don't even know how they do it. That's pretty fun. Uh, what if we could get them to abandon ship? Abandon ship? They'd be in the water. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What if we got them to abandon the ship and jump into the water? <clears throat> Is there something we could do to make them think that they've gotten to that point without ruining the ship itself? All it takes is one crewmate to panic really fucking bad, and it'll spin. It, it, everyone else will spiral. Wait. You would need like an officer to do that, but. Not really. 40 people is a lot to keep track of and memorize. It is. If They're someone goes smugglers. in disguised. If we could place a couple people among the ship. It's possible they wouldn't get noticed. You could even smuggle Torty and but myself. But how would you pull that off? Aboard the ship, that way. Right, and you'd have to make it look like the ship is doomed for someone to make that believable. Because uh, okay. they're not just going to go off without any either. good reason. Uh, the only way I can think of is either making the crew leave the ship... Mm -hmm. We're trapping the ship and making the crew come ashore. <clears throat> uh... The problem is, is they a... don't have an exit. Yeah. If there's a big enough scare that someone causes on there and then they start panicking and get the rest of the crew to panic and such, like <laughs> as if it, there was a fire, it doesn't have to be a real fire, but smoke and sparks is all they need. Uh, like a bunch of fuses, you know? Something to scare everyone to think that it's about to blow. A bunch of fuses of, that, you know, are supposedly... Yeah. Exactly. So... Uh, Dredge uh, talked about this all the time. He used to put fuses in his beard. Hold just on. to scare people. Real quick. <laughs> Weird, first of all. The plan for that to work would be a few of us sneak aboard the ship. Cause a distraction, make everyone bail off the ship, and then we would have to move the ship away from these people in the water. No, 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 no. We're on the right track. If it's got cannons, it's got some of that powder that we have seen Black when powder. we deal with yeah. the Imperials. Black powder. That's got to be on the ship. What if when they come to unload, one or two people sneak in, disguised as the rest of them, unload some <clears throat> of the black powder into the town? different positions for our boom our fire whatever it is we either get someone who can get Radard men to come with us or Imperial men with us to make them think they're being cannonaded that they've been found out to make them scatter. There are doors. The small shuttle boats that they've used. Maybe right. they'll try to escape on those. The Rodods would be hard considering the Capitano is, you know, in league with them. Though, if you could convince the Imperials, they could bring their own blasting powder. Maybe. But they're gonna ask questions. Yeah. That's too dangerous. Now, what am I thinking? Maybe... We'll have to think of something in the days to come. Stepping out of the shadows, right? Walk up to the custody. This is the evidence we have. We have a way we're going to deal with them. We need men. No, can't. As soon as it's made clear that we know the Capitano will find out, yeah. and he's going to try to 
either get out of town and leave parts of the corruption behind, or he's going to try and take care of the loose ends, which is us. Which means we can't get Redox. We don't know how much influence he's lost. God. The only other mm. thought I have is mercenaries. Mercenaries? I mean, if we hire some mercenaries, it's saving more money than buying a ship, right? Yes, but we're still in for a fight of our life. Forty fucking men. It's forty men with guns. Even if... Yes, and even if half of them are fighting capable. No, we're on the right track of fear and deception. This... Uh, might be... Really, really bad idea. But there is another ship out in port that has cannons. That would uh, scare them. I'm talking about talking about sawtooth. Yeah, I would like I'm... to do this without pirates. We would be Ooh. becoming pirates by stealing the boat. Would we? Isn't that what pirating means? Not if it's made clear to the Redots why it was done. Hmm. Let me make this clear. When we do this, it's the end of everything. Yeah. Wait, uh... We have the duck... Combo hmm? idea. Maybe they don't have to actually be involved. What if they're doing a delivery just up road? But, but, while at the same time, there's the people that are sneaking in, they do the panic and they're like, oh, there's smoke in the powder room, ah, oh, and then they go up and they go, oh, there's a, a, a ship coming at us, they're on to us, you know. Wouldn't that make sort of so many think, moving parts? Wouldn't that make sort of think that they're shooting okay. at them just and then sort of would come over here and... I, okay, like I said, that was probably stupid. I'm just throwing ideas. It's best we get it no out pirates. there. Okay. No sure. pirates. Well, I mean, okay. One pirate. Ex-pirate. One pirate. Thanks. Cool. One soon-to-be rehabilitated pirate. Or I don't know die. that word. Pirate. Oh, okay. Got that. Understood. You know that word? word? Yeah, Good. I got that. Yeah, context. Clues. All right. We need to stop threatening that. Hold on. I need to start following through with it. It's one of the other. Oh, never mind. Either way. <clears throat> no, we're on the right, the right thought process. The thing is, though, if we make <laughs> them smoke and mirrors break, they're going to break towards the ship. Will they? Mm. That's where they came from. Unless we... mm. Right? Those smoking things that I Venora knows how to make. Excuse me? I have smoke bombs. I, I, I bought smoke bombs. They're uh, coconuts with stuffs inside of it. What if those were put in the powder room and then some people exactly. started freaking out saying the powder was about to light? <clears throat> get off the ship. So we're doing this while it's in the harbor. Using both my chain idea, we'd have Tang and probably myself on either sides. Tang would be the anchor point. I would use a necklace and a steel plate, walk on the other side while he walks on the other, and he'd have to bring it up because I'm not strong enough. But I'd have it tied down to one side. Which makes... At the same time, the two of you... They get off the boat. Would be. Mm. They get off the boat, and either we have traps set for them, <laughs> we'll give them a reason to run. Yeah. If you load up a cannon with a whole lot of scrap shot that it shoots really badly and is really brutal, it doesn't usually kill, but it, uh. Jesus. It's really fucked up. I, I, that's just so you know, that's really in, just in cases. I've. Seen that. Rehabilitated Imperial, by the way. Mm -hmm. This... Uh, this scrap shot. It's mm -hmm. pretty fucking brutal. Yeah, You'll yeah, make I know. The That's person... why I'm just throwing it out there so it's a, in existence. I know, I know. I'm not saying to do it. All right, I've up. seen it. Well, it makes you we... want to die. Yeah. We're on the right track. <coughs> Get them to abandon the ship. 
I don't know if powder is the way to do it yet. Failing that, the original idea was the chain and have the two of them climb the masts at night and drop down while cutting the masts, making sure they can't sail. They're stuck in port. That means we're stuck in a fight with 40 people. Is it though? With guns. What if we abandon hmm. the ship? Where are they going to go? They can't take the ship. They can't. As long as we know they don't have sails that they can replace with, they're not fucking going anywhere. Exactly. They're not. I would like it to be decisive, but we don't have to stay once the ship is moored. What are they gonna do? Stay in that abandoned harbor? <laughs> Wouldn't they want to repair the ship, though? Well, we can have two plans. One for the backup in case things go tits up on our first plan. That way, we can fall back. <sighs> At the very least. Because we want as much odds as is succeeding as possible, right? So... Then we'll build upon this plan in the morning. But I think we're on the right yeah. track. Just in case, I'm going to start forging a chain with what little iron we have left. I'll have a talk with Tag in the morning. If we can get that ship, we'll be able to start doing work that takes us a little farther from home, but we'll be earning gold, not silver. And that's the aim. Yeah. Alright. I run my mouth enough and I'm tired. <laughs> Appreciate you all listening and pitching your ideas. Hopefully we'll come up with a solution in the near future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good night. So you don't need the Enjoy. name of the ship? I, I, I struggled so hard to remember <laughs> the name. Why would we need the name? Never mind. Okay. What's okay, the name he of said the ship, the... <laughs> <laughs> It was like, uh... Down... Tiles. I don't fucking remember. I, I wrote it you down, I wrote it down. I remember. I, I, oh, I, I, I don't know how Hold to on. read, God. I wrote it, it down. Yeah, look. Uh -huh. D -dow -down, yeah. down letters. Da down da da. D da D da ba da. Okay. Da 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 dauntless. Da da. I don't think you can say that. Da, I don't think da. that's your word to say, Torty. What? Okay. Huh? You see the shit? Fuck you! I can do this. Down down da 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 But thank you, Tori. That changes everything. I'm going to bed. <sighs> I try to be helpful, and I held. I tried to hold this information for so long because you said to get it, so it's... I thought it was important. I'm sorry. Yeah. It might be important down the line because <sighs> now that we know the name, we can track no, the ship. I'll you my hammer, and we'll start hammering away at steel. Cool. All it. right. Hey. My bones I'm sad now. Torty, you did really well Stop tonight. It. it was a pleasure working alongside you. But I'll. Look Seeing you climb up that mast and shit was like, well, not the mast, traffic. but the side of the boat you know and shit was like, I, can take some yes. I couldn't do it. Show you very very yeah, that was kind of fun. It was awesome. I, I really like climbing. Be a little bit yeah, of yeah. To make sure we get you on. Thank you, Torty. <sighs> That's fine. Okay. If I save You're welcome. Money, I'll get out of your room. You have a great alcohol collection, though. Let me know if you ever need help with that. <sighs> and then my lance is yours. <laughs> Torty. Mallet first. I have a feeling someone huh? will have on that. Tosses you a bottle. Go on. Sure thing. <laughs> See Thanks. Good night. <laughs> Tori. Good night. Yeah? Problematic thing. Come here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Who is gonna beat your ass? Good. <laughs> Don't say that. Good night, my son. <laughs>